goes, stop what you're doing. Stop right now. I said, stop. We're under lockdown. A real serious one. But we're going to give you a silly look at that serious world because it's the afternoons with Josh, Canada, man. A silly look at a serious world. It doesn't matter when you listen, Ken, because I'm always in trouble and things aren't going that great. I'm having one of the worst days uh, physically I've had maybe in uh, in a long time as far as in my own doing. Mm. It's always the <laughs> afternoons and we got a mm. new report card because we haven't had one in quite a while. But it turns out you actually can get in trouble while you're in quarantine. So, I mean... I got in trouble this morning for using the wrong filtered water. I had two <laughs> options of filtered water, and I used the wrong one, and it did not go well. So I, <laughs> I understand. Oh, congratulations to our friend Christy Ball Drop McGee, who's kidney stone drop, passed her kidney stone today. Woo! Nice. Woo! 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 That Woo! is huge. I, that is huge. That is like. Oh, hallelujah. I can't if I can't remember where she where she chatted me if it was on Instagram or Twitter or something but uh she was like sorry I missed the show I had kidney stones I'm not feeling too great and then she said I, oh. I named it something and then I think I named it Rocky Horror Kidney Show was my name Christy what did you name your kidney stone again That's uh, pretty good Actually fun fact I was maybe when Stone was, Phillips <laughs> Fun fact when I was first dating Josh he didn't know this but I was passing a kidney stone and it was so painful. Not that that has anything to do with dating Josh, but I was in a lot of pain when we first met. And honestly, looking back, it should have been a red flag. <laughs> well, you're too late now. <laughs> you can't pass this kidney stone. Um, no. But Amanda, were you? did you have the kidney stone like on a date? Like, were you like... Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no, no, it just, it, it was actually right at, it was a couple days after we went to this big birthday party and I got mm. trashed. Oh, hand bound. Like, eh. it was like, an, we had to dress up as emojis and it was, we were very newly dating. Yeah. But um, it was I'm a few days after that, I was in so much pain and I'm like, this can't, is it like, did I get poisoning? Like mm -hmm. for, at that party, like what happened? And then I remember my mom came to visit and she was like, do you think you have a kidney stone? I went to the doctor and turns out, yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, I had one, had the gallstone, had the gallbladder removed, but no kidney stones. The, uh, no. uh, our buddy Monterey Jack said, it's official. Josh finally drove through the car wash with the top down. Yep, I decided to take the hair off. I'd had enough. Mm -hmm. uh, we were up in Tahoe. Can I, I'll run you through the, the process because, you know, I just posted a picture on Instagram a couple of days ago, but I've been living now in, under this new bald regime. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and, you know, it is diehard season. So, you know, kind of go full, full Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. Um, you never know. I mean, who knows? I might get the hair transplant surgery. I might get injections or I might just keep it like this. I don't know. I want okay? the That's, I'm going, I'll, I'll follow you into the transplant one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I was up in Tahoe with, uh, my brother and sister-in-law for Thanksgiving. We were up there. Uh, and my brother's like, your hair is hideous. You're just, you're fighting a losing battle. You're fighting a losing battle. It looks terrible. You look like an idiot. Just start buzzing it. So I came home. Literally, we basically spent basically he got bullied into doing it. Yep. yep. Is what it what happened. Uh we we spent about nine and a half hours in the uh in the car coming back from Tahoe. As soon as we got back, I unpacked my bags. I'm one of those people, Ken. I as soon as I get home from trip, unpack the suitcase. Same. Gotta do it. Same. Okay. Yeah, me too. Me too. And uh and then uh, I went straight to the bathroom, buzzed it all off, came out, and my life. I'll tell you what, lower maintenance. I kind of look like a mix between Jason Statham, Bruce Willis, and uh, a 38 year old version of high school Josh. And, uh, you know, ready to go. I did giggle really hard when I first saw it because I just like didn't recognize him. I was like, oh man, but I didn't hate it. I was like, actually, I kind of like it. I mm. do think like maybe in, in like a, couple days i think it'll be at like the perfect length that he can just yeah, maintain yeah. all yeah. the time but i like it i i think it's cool um, our buddy christian <laughs> checking in from norway norway hey. we got oh christian hey all looking That's great today so nice okay christian. listen christian we have bones to yeah here. we do well, we have bones to listen to we got some amazing things let me tell you there was something in there that will scare the living daylights out of our unborn child hold on where is that thing? 
it's it's right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll set the story here. No, it's, it's Christian it's, underscore seven. Been a long time listener, supporter of us, uh, me on Twitch, and every once in a while because we have that PO box that you can send stuff to thirty seven twenty seven West Magnolia Boulevard, box seven two eight Burbank California nine one five zero five. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, Christian underscore seven will send over just basically he goes to whatever the equivalent of seven 11 is in Norway, grabs a bunch of chocolate and mails it to me. And I treat it as though it's exotic candy sent from the gods. Um, but it's great. So he did that. A huge box, a huge box, huge. I don't need more candy for all of 2021, but he sent some stuff for both of us, uh, all of us, uh, Josh and Amanda and everything. I have this cool moose pillow with like antlers and I use it for my video game head and grace laughs at it. He gave me a little stuff like moose, uh, Norway moose. I had it on the ground, unpacking the box. Baxter, our chihuahua, our male chihuahua, came running up to it, grabbed it, and ran away with it. It's his name. Um, oh, yeah. You can't get that back. No. Josh, he also sent you guys something. He did. And you listen, Christian underscore seven, I love you, buddy. Uh, we love we actually do love we love gifts. we love the gifts but let me tell you this one okay we got a we got a norway shot glass which i've already taken a shot of whiskey out of it's delicious yeah that's okay. part of the report card. part of the report I'll, card. I'll get back to that where that's called a tease in the industry we got a report card coming up here Ken. Mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. good come on um, we've got we've got the smash at the office uh we are we're making a huge announcement next week mm -hmm. um, so get ready for that we have something that you guys are going to absolutely love Mm -hmm. It's but he, huge. But he also sent me this, which is hands down the most terrifying thing in our home. Okay. Now, and, and when I when I say terrifying, I'm not. It'll and, give you nightmares. It, I'm scared of everything. Okay. I'm scared. Can you know this? I'm scared of everything. Yeah, you are. You are. This is absolutely <laughs> terrifying. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go close. Just do the solo shot in your camera there, buddy, because I got to see that. Oh, wow. That one, because, all right, yeah. He's got... I mean, that is. Hello, I am a troll from Norway, and I uh, I steal your soul, and I hold this flag. Oh, my God, you got one, too. <laughs> this is from a previous order. Oh, uh, previous order. who is the person that designs these? Hello, I am uh, here with my love. Hello. This is unbelievable. They're kind Enjoy of cute. You know what, though? If you look at them as like cute little trolls that live under the bridge, they're kind of cute. Now the camera's focusing on the troll. Yeah, look at that. Um, that's, yeah, the autofocus is killing me. But um, yeah, he always sends uh, some wonderful Norway uh, trolls. Yeah. And this is a Norway troll, and it is yeah. trolling our kitchen and our life, but also. <laughs> The trolls of Norway, Christian says with the the rock sign. Yeah, uh, this thing. For those listening at home, let me describe it. it yes, it is. It is um, a hideous version of Steve Martin in Roxanne, uh, on top of. And also, it has the longest nose. It's like got a Pinocchio nose. See, it's got that nose, Ken. Uh huh. No, that's true. You're right. You're right. That's like Steve favorite. Martin in Roxanne, and he's like hideously hairy. He's holding a Norwegian flag. And he's sitting on a moose. His teeth aren't the best. Either. His teeth are terrible. Wow. The moose is adorable. Yeah. yeah. And I have uh, two loving troll, troll cups. cups. Uh, uh, they're troll hair. Holding, holding each other's hand. hand. Yeah. 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 He is literally trolling you, Highway Johnny. Uh, Haskell420, our buddy, Amanda, please one morning, place that on Josh's side of the bed so when he opens his eyes, it's the first thing he sees. That's no. brilliant. That's really and smart. Please don't do that. Uh, I should have yeah. done that this morning. Honestly. I would want that. So, That's Ken, a, yeah. let me set the scene here. And I mean, really, though, thank you, Christian, for always sending us uh, uh, sure. for sugar and you know possible well, diabetes and also scary. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. Like all of you, stop sending me candy. But I love the Norwegian chocolate. So oh. here's what Josh and I I'll we're at candy. Yeah, I'll i got some. Trust me, man. At the office, got we got a lot. Um, so you, the secret project we haven't announced yet. We are at an office uh, building something out safely. We got masks on, all that thing. Uh, Josh and I, <laughs> Josh, I'm going to tell the world. Yeah, go ahead. We're kind of hungry. We can't eat really at any restaurants. There's a diner down the street that was, had uh, parking lot tables. We can't. We were going to go. We're like, oh, it's closed. For the first time in his life, I had Josh go to Del Taco, and we absolutely 
just destroyed that. Man. Del Taco. Twenty-eight dollars. I was waiting for the show. Twenty-eight dollars of Del Taco for two men. I've never even had Del Taco. Two two grown men who then took it to back to their office and <laughs> sat there and ate almost in silence for like ten whole minutes. And both I of ate them. I ate a burrito, two tacos, a half of a hamburger, French yeah. fries. I mean, we did it. And Wait, um, I've never had Del Taco. Well, and I need to know. That. We're going to correct it, Amanda. We're going to take it to El Taco. And right. both of us, it wasn't that we were eating in silence and we didn't want to talk to each other. Both of us were losing our breath at the same time. <laughs> so we're having tacos like, <sighs> oh. um, so, so I, yeah, I love Taco Bell. I love El Pollo Loco. Mm. I, yeah. I've always been a little like, I don't know about Del Taco, but mm. so get, give me the. Okay. So here's what happened. So we got, what did we got? Two grilled chicken. No, two crispy chicken tacos, three Del that. Tacos, yeah. a epic burrito, oh, a regular yeah. beef burrito, and then the that. double Del burger and fries. Well, yeah. And I got three regular soft tacos and two eight layer veggie burritos. <laughs> that, yep. You got that. And the fries. And then. Uh, I believe the Double Dell cheeseburger is like the best kind of quality, uh, you know, mid mid level priced fast food burger. I don't like In and Out. I don't like any of that stuff. I love the Double Dell cheeseburger. So I, I said, Yeah, let's split it. Let's get one. Josh was like, We'll split it. That's a great idea. So we sliced it down the middle. Mm -hmm. um, Twenty eight dollars. <laughs> Most of that comes from a dollar menu. <laughs> Yep. Yep. And here's the best part is I know for a fact that we got around to the window and the girl just said to the other girl, it's only two of them. <laughs> well, plus while we're ordering, uh, it's by the Burbank airport and it's kind of crazy over there. And uh, Josh was like, taking a moment. You never been the menu. And I was trying to prep him as we pulled in. I was like, all right, here's what you could expect. What do you, what do you want out of your meal, kid? And he gets up there and the girl's like, you know, right away. She's like, hi, welcome to the taco. I take your order. Josh was like, can I have a minute? It's my first time at Del Taco. And she's just like, uh huh. Like, it was some, <laughs> take like, your time, take your time. I was like, good. Wanger's oh. drive through sketch. Yes. Uh, but it was true. And I, I yelled back, oh, he's not lying. <laughs> um, so they spit in our food. But um, to tie it all together, I couldn't finish the last eight layer burrito. Josh couldn't finish his last taco. So right. there was a residentially challenged individual near our office who mm -hmm. just has made the sidewalk his home there. God bless him. He's the one I gave all the candy corn to. Yep. So, I said, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go down and take this guy the burrito and the taco. Josh says, great idea. That's that's what good people will do. I said, let's do it. I'm not, yeah, I'm gonna do it. And we had also been having some of the chocolate that Christian underscore seven sent us, the Bamsmums, which are the marshmallow chocolate bears. Yes. I had eaten about half the bag, almost fainted because my blood sugar was just all over. That's what caused us to go get the Del Taco. So I put the rest of them in the bag. I went down to the residentially challenged individual and I said, Hey, brother. I got some food left over from upstairs. You want it? And he goes, yeah, that sounds great. I go, burrito, taco, and some Norwegian chocolate. <laughs> and he was like, um, this is the best night of my life. And I left the bag and went on my way. Boom. And then we proceeded to work more in the office for the next two and a half to three hours. And the farting situation was <gasps> next level. If the, if the burrito was epic, the yeah. farting was also epic. It was not Gross. Epic. Yeah, it was a problem. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is my, I kind of feel like Taco Bell is like fake meat. Like it's not really real. It's I mean, it's meat. delicious, it's but delicious. let's face it. It's, it's delicious, like, delicious real meat. I don't trust it. I eat yeah. it, but I don't trust it. Slice whereas, it from the cow. Whereas El Pollo Loco, I feel like they've got like legit chicken. Like it's, they have like a chicken plate. Yeah. Is Del Taco, which side is Del Taco on? Are they like legit regular meat or is it like... <laughs> more on the taco bell side but it's just it's got a fresher lighter feel than taco bell to me nothing i'm this isn't a taco bell del taco war um i just yeah. 20 years ago there was a del taco near the mall when i was working security graveyards in particular and, and it's like that just i just that's that's what i was eating when i saw the alien up on flying in the sky over over the valley yeah. i just love del taco love del taco see here's the thing too is i'm i was very very impressed with the burger very impressed with the burger a burger and a mexican and place? i thought the no. same thing babe i i thought it well i was gonna it was gonna confuse me it didn't it was absolutely okay. delicious it's great and um I, I might go get one right now <laughs> i mean it's so good and then ken mm -hmm. to add on to that is that the menu is so diverse and enticing 
<laughs> and it's constantly fun. changing. I, I really am and have become a fan of the Stel Taco establishment. Yeah, you could wow, offer. Well, I can't wait to go there. You could offer a full waiter table side service Del Taco experience, and I think I think you, you would you would do fine. You would do well to do that one day. Uh, yep. Yes, you can go inside, but I'm talking like I actually. Hi, welcome to Del Taco. Can I get you some? Like it's the menu's that good. It's good. It's good. Um, I agree. Also, like meet Christian, Christian, I just saw. Yeah, I saw that Christian said living that gomp lifestyle. Where are the gomps at? We got gomps. Oh, Amanda, do you want gomps? Favorite. Yes, yeah. those are my favorite candy. Yeah. So Christian underscore seven sent so much candy this time. The box, the cardboard was like almost papery, like you could poke a finger through it. It was like the box had just been through a lot. Um, and he had to wrap all of it. He sent it from Norway. It cost him like seven hundred dollars American to ship it back. <laughs> and and um the gump and all the candy is wrapped like Tony uh Tony Montagna is uh, sending cocaine to it was smuggled in in Amazing. like drum kits it's like wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped so i'll send some home and you can gump yourself thank yeah. you yeah i josh didn't bring me any i mean come on rude. Yep. we're gonna well, gump the yard you know i got I mean. this weird troll <laughs> yeah, well because i can't open hello, it hello la, 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 la. our scissors aren't strong enough at the office josh, i got a text from josh i need some scissors that cut <laughs> I ran over so we'll, we'll open up the gump and gump you yes yep yes uh but yes thanks to christian underscore for creating diabetes but also leading ken and i to to eat the bamsamums and then because we had just eaten candy and nothing else and then drank a twisted tea we were like well we gotta go to talk del taco we gotta get some real food i, I had not ate all day it was a like a four center kind of record day um and yeah it was bad it was uh Bamsamums, chocolate marshmallows, a twisted iced tea, alcoholic drink, no food. And I literally was like, Josh, we got to we got to go. We got to do something. Uh, Monterey Jack in chat says it best. Taco Bell is not meeting my needs. I'm seeing other tacos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's funny. Uh, Michael Kautzer wants to know what the troll's name is. Hello. My name is, uh, well. Unger. I think his name's Unger. Unger, hello. My name is Unger, and my moose's name is Marlin. Marlin Moose and uh, Unger. I am from Norway. La da 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 da. Sorry, the people that are listening to this are like, "What the hell is going on?" You guys, you need to yeah. tune into the YouTube show to actually see. Hello. But let's face it. I think they ask that every episode they listen to. Yeah, like, I. What the hell yeah, is going I do. On? I I do forget that this is a podcast. First, I apologize. We're having so much fun hanging out on YouTube with all you good people out there. So yeah. a lot of fun. Um, a lot of fun indeed. Uh, should we? Uh, <laughs> AJ Schwackert, who's uh, <laughs> taking time out from uh, offensive offensive coordinating a, a double uh two A school. Um, <laughs> Division one double A. Yeah. I talk about AJ Schwacker way too often, like <laughs> off, 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 off YouTube and podcast. AJ Schwacker says, uh, the troll reminds him of Elton John. I don't know why, but that's accurate. <laughs> it does. It is very Elton John. They have the same teeth. Uh, Trollton John, as he says, well done, AJ. Really, really nice. Good night. Um, goodbye. Yellow brick road. Ooh, Ooh. David Taylor. John, John Travolta. John Travolta. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, this is great. Yeah, the trolls are great. Uh, uh, this tr the troll is crazy. It's scary. Every time. Black troll, son, won't yeah. you come? Sorry. That was um, should we? Are we burying the lead here? Should we get to bum, 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 the Amanda McCuga report card? <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I was pissed i mean there's yeah. been a couple times like, on the show i, I, I read the email on that no <laughs> you cannot she sent me an email she was, I so, was pissed, so pissed man. i wrote him an email in the and middle of the email. night and I, email. I was so mad i was like dear sir and i couldn't go to sleep until i got like what i needed to say out but he was fucking passed out excuse my french wow. he was unconscious and passed out and i was like you know what he's not gonna hear what i have to say and i need him to know it so i'm just gonna <laughs> angrily type it out and when he wakes up out of this wow. blackout he's gonna read it and he's gonna be scared wow this is uh this did amanda this had nothing to do with twisted teas and del taco did it <laughs> you know no however oh. it all sort of 
You know, it has a lot to do. It has a lot to do with that, but not really. It's one of those like I'm Here's pregnant. The thing, Ken. No, there is oh, okay. the thing. I am pregnant and uh -huh. I am growing a human, human and it's a lot of work. It's like takes a toll on my body. So like having to take care of a drunk idiot on top of taking care of myself and this unborn child mm -hmm. is a lot. And I said, I told him I refuse to do it. I am not going to take care of two babies, uh -huh. only the one in my belly. And once she's out, she'll be a perfect angel. And this guy looks like he's going to have to get his stuff together, his life Wee. together. Wow. So here's what happened, Ken. Okay. Okay. Let me set the stage. And so, let me let me just set the stage. Okay. Let me okay. Stage, stage set for this okay. one. Here we go. So yesterday was Wednesday, December mm -hmm. the 3rd, 2nd. Second? Mm -hmm. second December 2nd okay at the time of the recording yes okay so the Steelers played an afternoon football game at 12 40 p.m on yes. a Wednesday yes, okay they, yeah mm -hmm. now we're in the middle of a pandemic we may never see a 12 40 p.m Wednesday football game ever in the rest of our lives so I figured of which we'll never see again yes so a buddy of mine who's from Pittsburgh we, me and Amanda went to his house with his wife, just the four of us. They had just had COVID tests. We had just had COVID tests. We felt comfortable doing it. Okay. Okay. So, you know, we yeah, started having a couple of drinks. This is where he sort of forgets what happened because, okay. well, here's we the know. thing is Ken, as you know, as, as my friend is that I succumb to peer pressure easily. Like if somebody said, Hey, shave we, your head, you'd do it. I'd do it. Yeah, correct. If someone said, Josh, we have this thing, if we have this new drug that's supposed to be like give you magical superpowers, but no one's ever taken it, you want to try it first? He'd be like, I'm in, totally in. Yeah. I'll do it. Okay. Like if they were like, Josh, we, we're not sure if the COVID vaccine works, but we're pretty sure it does. I'm like, I'll try it. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> so yeah. now. Every time the Steelers did something good, we were like taking shots. And then I was drinking this stuff that is, it's like beer, but it's kombucha. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. It tastes like soda. And Josh, even if it is bourbon, he drinks his drinks. Ken, you know this. He guzzles them down pretty quickly. Like the whole point of drinking alcohol to me is one, <laughs> you like the flavor. And two, it's like a slow, enjoyable sip. You know, you got a glass, you go through it kind of slowly. You're like swirling around. Mmm, yummy. Oh, no, Josh is like, I'm thirsty. I mean, yeah. and he just, and he like throws it back so quickly. He's on number two when everyone else is just taking their second sip of the first one. This is also us at the comedy store. Me and Josh are like, yeah, I'll have another because we're done already. Yeah, because right. Yeah, right? Just, like, I, you're not wrong, Amanda. We're I doing I've it. I've never seen you black out or even really that drunk, so. You know, That's you true. you are able to be responsible with the way that you drink. Maybe. This one is not. He he has issues. <laughs> okay, so here's what happened, Ken. So mm -hmm. then you know, and she's not wrong. But I was calling this stuff kombucha, right? Because there was like a kombucha beer, but kombucha, the hard, the hard kombucha, it's great. Hard kombucha, yeah. Grace drinks, yeah. So uh, the one that I was drinking, I wasn't paying attention to it. It was delicious. And it was 6.8% alcohol. So it was strong. And then I was chasing it with bourbon shots and then shots of scotch <clears throat> and then blackout city. Scotch, 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 okay. scotch, scotch. The That's Steelers crazy. won. We were celebrating. We were, you know, we were going crazy. Uh, so, Steelers beat the Ravens twice in one season. We're 11 and 0. Okay. And I can understand Wednesday. I, I get pandemic. it. It's a, like, it's a big game. It's exciting. They won. He wants to celebrate. Totally understand that. Mm -hmm. But in the six years that we've been together, how many Steelers wins have we celebrated? A lot. And how many will we probably continue to celebrate forever? Too many. A lot. So what? I there's no excuse to me that like, well, babe, we're 11 and 0 and this is Steelers. I don't care. We'll probably be 11 and 0 another day in our lifetime, perhaps. And we're going to celebrate all those wins too. So like, chill out. You know, Ken, there was it was a lot of things that really added up to just. And I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't been this drunk. Mm. In he I could mean. not talk. 
So I, I obviously, <laughs> this is the other thing about being pregnant. He knows there's a designated driver. So he's like, it's fine. I'll just like, I don't really need to be that responsible. He, when I got, when we got walk, walked in, which I'm honestly shocked. I didn't have to carry him. I would have left him on the street. He just fell face down on the living room floor and Sorry. blacked out. And then, <laughs> like a then I tried to help him get on. I tried to help him get on the couch. He rolled off the couch. Then he just, he kept banging into like the coffee table and tipping stuff over on top of it. I'm like, totally. I finally went up to him and he was totally unconscious at this point. Like, I think he was just totally blacked yeah. out. And I was like, stop rolling around. You're driving me crazy. Like I'm yelling at him and he's not even, doesn't even know what I'm saying. So and this is me on the living room floor last night. Jerome, <laughs> Jerome Bettis Jersey. Uh, you, you your, your ring lights getting it, but oh, <clears throat> there it is. That, so, and you took that for what evidence later I, on in a court? Yeah, oh, well. I took that just just so that he could remember the fool that he made him. You know. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look. I uh, yeah. I mean, I, I to recap the hard kombucha, which is like a white claw. That's like the the vegan version of a white claw. Grace had Grace just downs those, uh, but one a week. Um, Josh had a couple of those followed by, you said whiskey and then shots of scotch. Yeah. Well, we ran out of bourbon. So we switched to scotch. He just doesn't know. He doesn't like know his limits. Like normal people would be like, eh, I probably had enough. I'm good. And then you turn down someone offering you more drinks. Oh no, not I Josh. Like I can totally do this. That's fine. I got it. <laughs> I, I would argue that Josh does know his limits <laughs> and loves stepping over them. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Ken. that would make that would piss me off even more if he did know his limits. So I like to just pretend he doesn't, but you're probably right, Ken. I think I mean, that's more I've accurate. Been there enough comedy store nights, and we haven't had a crazy comedy <laughs> store night, obviously in a long time with 2020, but in the day, like it was always that like should we, should we? Yeah. And that's always going to get you in trouble. The yeah, yeah. is always going to get you in trouble. Yeah. Every time. And you know what, Ken, I'm doing my best here. Mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> I'm really trying. I'm oh, trying yeah. very hard to keep it all together, but you know, the pandemic got me, we've mm -hmm. been working on a new project. Uh, the Steelers are 11 and no, it was a confluence, no pun intended because where three rivers meet is, is a confluence of events. Okay, it was a confluence of events, and I, uh, my buddy is a he is a big peer pressure guy, and as soon as he starts getting the energy in there, starts forcing shots, the Steelers start scoring, we win. Oh man, it just you know what? And Amanda's right. I do, but let's be honest, I haven't celebrated that many wins this year, and I definitely haven't celebrated like that. And whoo I mean, I, it sounds you like you're not celebrating in your life. Mm -hmm. Period. Like you've celebrated more than most people do in their entire lifetime. And honestly, I'm over here exhausted. I don't sleep at night. I'm getting fat. And he's like, party. No. Oh, and like, we're no. undefeated. This is awesome. Let me celebrate. I'm like, no, let me celebrate. But you know what? I can't. I have to be your freaking designated driver. This is all true. It's all true. Um, you were you were trying to blow off some steam on a Wednesday, uh, you know, and it just the steam just went off. Um, but yeah, Amanda's right because the concern is she could be, you know, shopping for a, a minx uh, and a, a f passes out, and Josh will be right there next to her, and that's not a good thing. Uh, yeah, that's true. See, it's you know, Ken. Uh, at the end of the day. <clears throat> and mm -hmm. here's the thing: it's I woke. I think I passed out at probably like six thirty, seven o'clock. Like it was early. Is Seven? No, we. You passed out first in the car at five twenty, <laughs> and then you got home. You woke up to walk upstairs, or oh, I should yeah. say, like sway, and you know. Mm -hmm. And then we were in the door before six, and you were on the floor. So no, it was before. Yes. Yeah, so I woke up in the middle of the night because I had already been asleep for six hours at about two two a.m. and it was like, oh, <laughs> what happened? I even. So, he, he yeah. was passed out on the couch and he came in to our bedroom to go to the bathroom. And I think I even said, 
you can't sleep there. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> so right. I kicked him back out to the living room. Back to the living room. I even said to him, and he was unconscious, like he was already blacked out and couldn't hear me. But I was like, if you piss on anything in here, you're going to replace it for me. Like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not walking your ass to the bathroom. If you want to piss on something, go for it. You're replacing it. I was okay. so mad. So, Ken, not so, great. So, hilarious. to add uh, insult to uh-huh, injury. Uh huh. Uh-huh. There's more. Oh, God. There's more. So, I, can, can, so, can I? Can there's I? Can more. I to add can, insult to injury. Uh, can, can I add something in real quick? Okay. So I pulled up the Good. Josh McCuga, Mark Ellis, Ken Napsuck text thread that's been going for four years straight. Um, and because at the t- we're okay. recording this on Thursday, release Friday. So Wednesday is yesterday. I'm looking at my my phone. Mm-hmm. You, me, and Ellis are going back and forth. We're back and forth. We're back and forth. And all of a sudden, uh, the last text from Josh is 2.38 p.m. And I don't get one again till 1059. So <laughs> your honor, I don't know what happened in the hours between 238 and 1059. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. Okay. I'll hold on to this a minute. Yeah. So, um, ridiculous. so it's, you know, I wake up and it's a, you know, about one thirty ish, maybe midnight, something like that. Uh, and I, I check my email cause now I'm conscious. I'm like, Oh man. So I checked my email and, the, and I don't know what the title of the email was. It's something like, I hate you or something. It, it, no, no, it was, wasn't. I just said, please read in uh, all caps. Oh yeah. Please read. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> it was like, I'm, you know, I get this email, like you are an embarrassment. La 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 la. No, uh, uh, uh. it was not. You're an embarrassment. I was very sweet. I told you, I loved you in the email, but I also told you if you ever do this again, like we've had this conversation way too many times. If you ever do this again, it's you're done though. Yeah. Basically what she, what she said, Ken. So, um, we're about to have a baby. You can't be like a drunken idiot. When well, we have a baby. What do, but he's got to like January 22nd, right? <laughs> February 25th. Yeah, I know, but you got, you got a month to land that plane, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, yes. I'm not. I'm no, not, we're in I'm training now. I don't get to be drinking. I don't have till February 25th to just live it up and party. Uh uh-uh. uh, if I can't do it, he can't do it. That's not how it works. But anyway, Christy McGee says this is why Amanda is the detective, and good for you, Amanda. <laughs> David Taylor, I hope this email finds you well. Not <laughs> okay. He's not wrong. He's too busy. Okay. I hope this email finds you not choking on your vomit like Keith Moon. <laughs> yeah. So I read that. So now, now you know you get that hangover anxiety. You get the anxiety of like what happened in my mm-hmm. extended blackout. You get a, yeah. an awful email. You're embarrassed. You get an email from your wife that's basically like ship up or ship out, right? Right. And right. so and so I'm like on the couch. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll go in the room. I'm just like, go bad. I go in there and it's like, yeah. It's like, all right. Well, I didn't back to the couch. That. You, I'm very nice. I didn't like, yell at you or say get out of here, but I purposely put his laundry on his side of the bed so he couldn't get in the bed because I didn't want him to lay on all of his laundry. So I was like, your laundry's there. You can't lay on it. Wow. Exactly. So get any go back on the couch. And yeah. now, now I'm like, my head, like everything is ringing. Probably. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. Mm-hmm. So I'm like trying to go back to sleep. Ken, today has been brutal. This is the first hangover I think I've had in my life. I mean, he's almost 40. And the first one, like, finally, he's learning. Finally, there's consequences. But why all of a sudden just now? It couldn't have happened like 10 years ago. So God works in mysterious ways. (laughs) So, Ken, (laughs) I took an Excedrin migraine, which apparently is crack cocaine, Mm -hmm. uh, because I feel very weird. And I've apologized profusely to my wife and I feel awful. I like I, my intention is never to like super black out like that is not, it's not my intention. Just having a good time. And then all of a sudden it creeps up on me. Bing, bang, boom. I'm face down in the carpet. Yes. But it's creeped up on him far too many times. Like one time. Okay. Yeah. I creeped up. This is like the 15th time we've had to do this. I'm like, True. okay, you know, now that this happens. So yeah. hello. Like yeah. Teddy Fica. Says it perfectly. I'm going to put this in here. That's dangerous, Teddy. That's dangerous, Teddy. This There's a different kind of challenge being a dad to be, and it's very hard to live up to a pregnant woman's expectations. It's very important to blow off steam. I got you, Josh. Teddy, legend. <laughs> Teddy, Thank you. you know what? I cannot. <laughs> I, all I got to say is 
Yeah. Well, we already know that women are the stronger species, like yeah. just he's, duh. These are facts, yeah. But and, you but guys then, have it so easy. Would you like to know what I've experienced? But then Teddy Fica the does say, just don't make her drive you home or step over you while you're passed out on the carpet. All right, so good comeback there, from right. Teddy. Oh man. Yeah, men have no idea. If men had to get be the ones to get pregnant, there would be no population left. I already said that. Oh, you it's did. Just, yeah, like three episodes ago. Well, whatever. I said it. Probably again. was not there. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are, Ken. Yeah. Well, Amanda so he came in the room this morning and he's, he's like, okay, listen, you're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. I was like, <laughs> no, I know I'm right. I'm still going to, I'm still going to poke you and make sure you understand my point. Mm -hmm. Amanda, what, what is the level of apology needed? Like what, what, what it's cause it has to go beyond words. Like what is, is it a look in the eye? What makes you sorry? Not into the I don't though? actually. I don't actually need an apology so much as I do. I need him to hear, feel like he's hearing me. Yeah. And it's like, it's registering. Like it's, it's, he's like processing what I'm saying and he's listening and hearing me to where I'm like, Oh yeah, I think he understood that and he's not going to do it again, but that doesn't happen very often. Okay. So it's less of a, like, I'm sorry. I don't need an apology. I just need him to understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. And then make sure that he's processed yeah. okay. my side of it and understands yeah. how I feel. That's it. That's it. This is a good lesson in, in how to work through differences at a, in a, in a marriage. This is, this is important stuff here in the afternoons. You're right, Ken. You're very, very right. We turn yeah. into a lesson. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so today has been brutal. I've taken bouts of like sweats and, oh man, I took a shower. I almost sat down. In the shower. Oh, that's great. Shower. That's great. When you take it, when you're so drunk that you take a shower like Eva Green in Casino Royale, just in your dress crying, it's the best. Oh man, just whoo. And <laughs> the best. Well, my I mean, uh, the, all of this makes sense. All the my my uh, my text chain. Uh, the the uh, you know um, while I'll probably be working in the office alone tonight. I, all this makes sense and I support it. And Josh, maybe just sit on the couch, watch some Jeopardy. Yeah. Maybe cook your wife. Uh, what do you need, Amanda? Some beef stew? <laughs> what, what good? What's Honestly, good? That was the part that really pissed me off the most because he usually makes me food. And I was starving when we came home. And he here he is blacked out, acting like an idiot. And I'm <laughs> yeah. like, who the hell's gonna make me dinner? I gotta fucking make my own myself a meal. I'm big and pregnant. I can't do this myself. So then I just got more pissed, and then I had toast with peanut butter on it, and I just was like fuming, and I wrote him an, an email. Yeah. Dear sir. <laughs> yeah. That's not. That's never a good sign. Yeah, that's never a good sign when you get an email from someone in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> I because I just was so mad and I really wanted to have the conversation right then and there, but he obviously would not have understood me. And I just could not fall asleep until I got out what I needed to say. I again I think that's a valuable piece of advice because uh, you know, writing can sometimes it hey, maybe calm you down. Um, you know, um or, but I mean you're not gonna get upset and miss I, I'm one when in conversations that start getting tense, I forget to say a thing I mean, which could have probably helped the situation. You know, I just get like, yeah. and that's, and that's, that was I, me this morning going, why is there two filter water things in the fridge? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, Ken, you know, I try my best 99% of the time. And it's that 1% of botch that really gets me in trouble. <laughs> Botch. I'm, just, I'm like, you know, you're giving yourself more credit. I love that you think it's a one percent botch, babe. Two, really, or true. at least at a five. Five, yes. no way. You know how much time is in five percent versus how much, how many times I've blacked out around you? That's an insane. No, number. but we're it's not even blackout. I hate drunk Josh. You don't even have to be blacked out. Like, it, I don't like drunk Josh, period. like the wild man stuff. You don't like the wild man Makuga. No, I hate the wild man. Sorry, everybody, but I do not like wild man Makuga. <laughs> I love Josh Makuga. I do not like wild man. Right. This is why I was so excited because Amanda was supposed to be going out of town this weekend to, for her baby shower, like a small baby shower, but it's been canceled because of COVID. Because Friday night, I was, I was just going to walk to Burbank. <laughs> 
Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's illegal too, but yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Um, yeah. yeah um, wow. I don't even know what to say right now. It's I'm just, look, I'm glad we're here now. Glad yeah. we've worked through this. We made it. Um, you know, I'll do everything in my power to just take uh, that extra twisted tea away. <laughs> I'll try. Mike Rod says, this sounds like a lot. Ken, of I got to say. Yeah. The We're having a big delay. This today. sounds a lot like episode four of season five of Trouble Bumpers. You're not wrong. Yeah. I know. Hugh, my, our, our wireless blows. I can't wait. I'm going to start streaming from the office for, uh, next week mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. our, our internet there is amazing. Oh, it's great. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 600 up and 35 down or whatever the hell that means. I don't know. We got the best. Yeah. Yeah, Mike Rod's yes. not wrong. Episode four, season five of the truffle pumpers. That's where Emma and Hubert, uh, had that big battle. She was, uh, expecting her ninth kid and, and he was still dipping into the, uh, house, uh, brandy and, uh, they had that big conversation, but it, it came around. It worked out in the end. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that Hubert, he meant well. He was always trying to do well, but Kid. he liked to have a good time. And, you know, after eight kids, Hubert can only do so much. Mm -hmm. And the brandy is just that good. And in that episode, you you know, he has that that moment alone where he's just sipping on the brandy and she is above him as he's sort of falling asleep with the brandy, etching in stone an email of, at the time, etching in stone her <laughs> anger to leave next to him, uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, which was fun because even then they were like, you could have just dipped your uh, ink pen in the, in the quill there, right? Uh, just yeah. like, stone. This is in stone. In stone. Great episode. Yeah. I, I mean, the amount of time it took her, while she could have been taking care of the other eight kids, just to write that mm -hmm. insane uh, etched in stone moment in Truffle Puppers. But, which was yeah. the name of the episode, Ep etched in stone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, I mean, it really is a great show. I mean, we're at season seven now and, yeah. um, you know, things are starting to look up. This is, we know we should, we should really have Ken is a zone out song for when Amanda zones out. We just play like a la 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 Awesome. That's, that's Amanda for you. Listen, you're allowed blackouts. I'm allowed to zone out. <laughs> this is true. And if we're yeah. talking about percentage of zone out, Ken, really, I mean, it probably happens every episode. So we're got to be at least like 20%. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Look, you're making it happen, Amanda. You're, you're doing great. You, you, you are, you are going to take this uh, plane in for the landing. Uh, you are, your Instagram photo. I even comment, Josh, I go, Amanda looks just great pregnant. Every photo you send out just looks like you're like, 30 40 50 years from now your kids are gonna look at those photos be like, look at her, look at her mom that was her pregnant look at how awesome she is and whatever Aww. they're on whatever is like drilled into your eyeballs they're gonna be like oh it's a wink that's a good one that's a good sign <laughs> so don't worry you're doing good we'll work Thanks, on Ken. J jw bass man twenty two thousand one. Uh, first rate yeah first rate nate said my three-year-old finn liked that song josh uh, I love the name Finn. That is so cute. I do like the name Finn too. It's a good one. Um, and three is such a fun age. All right. Yeah. We, um, I don't want to cut this off. Amanda, do you feel you've said your piece? Good. The report card comes to a close. I said, yeah, I said my piece, you know, I, I said it, I said it in an email, which I'll tell you what is very therapeutic and it does like Christy McGee, I think said it does kind of make you go back and double check your, what you're saying. So you actually yeah. get out what you really mean instead of just being irrational and saying things you don't mean in person. Exactly. That's, that's what I do too. Um, Kristen McGee, she, she, she writes a lot of handwritten letters to stores around town that do her wrong. <laughs> Dear Walgreens on the day of Tuesday. All right. So I got another gift. Can I show you this with the gift? Yes. yes. So this factors actually into the new office a little bit there. You see this? See that? Ooh, young, young guns. guns. Whoa, young guns. that's cool. Young guns. So our uh, our friend uh, DJ Old Boy. You know he he yeah. uh, 
He does a lot for us here. Big fan. Listen for years. I won't read too much letters and personal stuff, but he I wrote a letter, uh, but to 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 me, but also uh, you guys just talking about a lot of the shows I do, but here in the afternoons. Uh, his uh, dad battled throat cancer for the beginning of quarantine for September, and his dad's doing good right now. Great. That's the okay. end of the story. But DJ took the time to not only send that poster to me, but to express to all of us that thank you for the silly entertainment uh, of what uh, you know we we do here, and it's helped him, helped his family, just kind of uh, get through this year and distract themselves from the serious things, serious things, which is part of what we try to do here. So uh, to DJ, old boy, we absolutely just uh, uh, love uh, your support. You've been listening for a long time. Appreciate what you do, and uh, thanks so much, and, and much love to your family. Oh, that's amazing. It's a great Young Guns poster, awesome. and yes, uh, DJ Old Boy Legend, thank you for the kind words and for you know listening to our show, watching our show, whatever it is, however you uh, ingest the content. Is that how you say it? Ingest it. Um, uh, and, we, and for those, yeah. I should say for those on the podcast, sorry, it is a Young Guns, not two, but Young Guns poster. Uh, with uh, the whole cast pointing their guns and riding their horses, little movie poster there. So, uh, and that's going to factor into. Uh, I'm finally there was a show I actually recorded a pilot episode of and never released it called "I Shall Finish the Game," which was a U uh, Young Guns podcast. Uh, that's going to find a new home, Josh. It's going to. It find is going to find a new home, guys. Keep. We're going to start teasing uh, what we're announcing next week, starting Monday. Just, we got new social medias for you guys to follow. I mean, we're still going to be obviously on our social media, but we got. We got a whole new operation we're about to launch that's just going to be awesome. You guys are going to love the content. You're going to love what we're doing. Uh, hopefully, at the beginning of something amazing, huge, and wonderful. And uh, a special thanks to JW Bassman, 2201, 22,001. Give us $100 for a baby shower present. Looking forward to meeting the little Aww, Makuga. That's so oh, nice. That's Thank so you very, so very nice. Much. Yeah. That's great, Nate. Um, I can't wait to meet a uh, little Makuga, too. I'm kind of scared, honestly. Is that the name? That's the name. Little Makuga. Yeah. Little Makuga Makuga. Little, little Makuga. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think she'll be awesome, but I hope she's not like a terror. <laughs> you get, look, you've got two options. It's, it's going to be either like you or Josh. And it's a flip of a coin. It's like a turkey. It's like a turkey. It could, it could really go. No, I mean, listen, she's going to be nice. She's going to be fun. She's going to be sweet. But she also could jump off a bridge and do backflips into a river. No, that's horrible. What do you mean? Like she might like to cliff jump like me. No, it, because you're not cliff jumping. So there'd be no reason for her to learn cliff jumping because you aren't doing that. Would um, would uh, would uh, Garrett Farney, uh, who is the, obviously the best golfer name in the world, looks like I need to send some more whiskey. Maybe not. Yes. Garrett, maybe, don't you do it. We do not need more whiskey. Josh does not need more whiskey or more blackouts. You do not send any whiskey. Garrett, you have my address. You know where to send Don't it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Another uh, hey, super chat. You know, we appreciate this. We don't really, uh, you know, we, we appreciate it. We, we probably uh, be one of those shows that asks for more. We don't. Uh, and we, we, we probably won't. I discovered you guys in episode number 256 of the Schmoes No Show back in the day, the one where. Uh, Harloff debuted the Predator costume. Oh, that was the best. Thanks for all the entertainment over the years. Sending love and positive vibes. Thanks. I will say that that costume, he spent like $120 on that stupid Predator, and it was the worst costume I've ever seen. The worst thing. Thanks, worst Complex thing. Existence D. Appreciate it. You guys are great. All of, everybody that comes and watches and listens and hangs out. Uh, we love all you guys. And you know, it's it's a crazy time in the world. So you yeah. know, uh, just try and stay safe out there and and love one another from a distance. Uh, from a distance. Oh, there you go. We hit it. We hit it. We hit it. Even with the delay, we hit it in perfect harmony. See, Jesse Roach, aka the pop star that the world needs right now, mm -hmm. said, "Been cliff jumping my whole life." Then again, with three big brothers, what options did I have? See, yeah. So that's the thing, I, Amanda. It might depend on what comes next. You know, if there's a if you form a team. Uh, your daughter might be might be just like you, but maybe on Friday nights she's jumping off of uh, houses while the owner of AfterBuzz TV says, "No, Josh, don't jump off the roof." <laughs> Listen, if there's a pool or a river or a lake or an ocean, and there's an elevated surface above it that can be jumped off into it safely, no, I will be doing that. Absolutely not. I think I may be one of those crazy mothers who like never lets my child out of my sight and just keeps her all to myself because I'm going to be I'm like a stranger terrified. things parent. No, like I'm just ride so your bike scared. and find an alien. Just go out there. Your mom and I are watching the, the wheel. Okay. 
your dad's watching Jeopardy. Go out, ride your bike, find an alien, Christ. No, she should be watching Jeopardy with us so she becomes smarter. All right, so she can watch Jeopardy with us. Then go ride your bike, find an alien, get a sport, yeah, get a hobby. let's do that in the middle of Hollywood. Go on out, ride your bike by yourself. <laughs> Amanda, it's a real big deal. Amanda, are you going to have a leash? Are you a leash parent? Oh, no, no. Oh, God. No leashes. No leashes. But here's the thing. I do, I sort of understand why people have sometimes put leashes on. If you're sure. at a place like Disneyland, if you have a child that you can't carry all the time, but that just wanders mm -hmm. off, you got to keep, you got to keep that thing contained. So I'm not, I don't judge parents who do it because I totally understand why they would do it. I just don't think it's, it's mm -hmm. me to do that. But then again, I don't know if she's anything like Josh. I got to leash her up all the time. Here's uh, Andrew Cook makes a solid, solid point here. But she will ride a horse without a helmet. Unbelievable. She will. She Andrew will the learn to ride horse. very early on. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're gonna know. Uh, good. Uh, gonna take her up to a Carmel by the sea and just let her ride around in the uh, in the open wilderness there. Run into the yeah. Cliff. All right. Ken. All right, we did it. Uh, we did I think it. I think I'm going to head to the office and get some uh, work Ooh. done there, um, and uh, maybe have a Seven Eleven dinner. You know? Ooh, I like it. I like it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Good stuff, buddy. I love you, man. I love y'all. I love y'all listening. Thanks for the support. Thank for DJ Old Boy. Thank you, Christian underscore seven. All jokes aside, we appreciate gifts like that. Uh, we well, do. the troll scares the hell out of us, but um, you know we really, uh, really appreciate it. And uh, Bryant the Brawler, uh, Bryant Brawler coming in uh, at this Last point. Second you, super chat. You might have to resort to. <laughs> 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 That's so good. There's DJ Old Boy. Yeah, look at that DJ Old Boy. That young boom. Guy. Woo! Uh, gonna get that framed. I got uh, some needlepoint from Christy McGee lately. I got some stuff to hang out, man. Man, we got some stuff. We got some stuff, Ken. Nice. Yep, we got some stuff indeed. That's what we do here. It's the afternoons. We got some stuff. That's it. <laughs> Ken and Amanda, a silly look at a serious world. It doesn't matter when you listen, as long as you're constantly apologizing to your wife for your terrible behavior that is immature and unacceptable, unless it's a Steeler game on a Wednesday during a pandemic. It's always the afternoons. Yeah.